So you want to separate your aiming from your walking. Not a problem. Anytime you want to control separate parts of your rig independently, you are going to need a mask. But to use a mask, you need the avatar. To check if you have one, click the arrow next to your FBX. And at the very bottom should be the avatar. If you don't see one, go up here, click rig, and under avatar definition, pick create from this model. And it should appear at the very bottom. All right, let's make a mask. Right click, create, avatar mask, name it, and up here under transform, drag in your avatar from the bottom. Then import skeleton. Click toggle all down here, and now select all the bones that you want the mask to control. Since we are doing aiming, it should be everything above spine too. If you hold alt while clicking a bone, it will automatically select all the children. Once you have done that, click on your animation controller. And under layers, click the plus. Name it upper body, then click the gear, and set your upper body mask. Then under parameters, click the plus, add a new float called aim then under layers go to upper body right click create state and from new blend tree name it up here double click it change parameter to aim and if you followed my blender animation series you will have created five separate aiming animations so create five new motion fields uncheck automate thresholds and drag in your animations in the following order negative 90 negative 45 0 45 and 90. All right. Finally, make sure that your threshold values are consistent with the animation. And you're done. We will be programming all this with proper scripts in the next few tutorials, but that is how you make the tree. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.